Carousel is a very hot topic for the exam in the five star topic, my dear. And sometimes this topic are very good differentials of other diagnoses that you must know, my dear. So carousel, what does it mean is a C for cerebra, A D for autosomal dominant, A for arteriopathy, and S for subcortical infarcts and L for leuco and cerebropathy. So once again cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy is a real cause of multi-infarct dementia or vascular dementia. Patients are often present with a migraine. Keratosis is a real cause of multiple cerebral infarctions. There is a genetic condition due to a mutation of the NOTCH3 gene. And it usually presents with onset of the migraines in the middle age following by the recurrent TIs and strokes and resulting in a neurocognitive decline, psychiatric problems and dementia. MRI shows the multiple widespread hyperintense lesions in the wide matter lesions, basal ganglia, thalamus and pores. Carousel or carousel syndrome involving the cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy and subcutic infarcts and leukoencephalopathy is the most common form of the hereditary stroke disorder and is thought to be caused by mutations in NOTCH3 gene. Yes, in chromosome number 19. The disease belongs to family disorder called the leukodystrophies. The most common clinical manifestations of migraine headaches and transient ischemic headaches or strokes, which usually present in between the 40 to 50 years of age, all the MRI is able to detect signs of the disease years prior to the clinical manifestation of the disease. Here is a photograph here. The micrograph showing the punctate immunostaining. There is a brown color you see the immunostaining with a notch 3 antibody as is characteristic in carousel. And this notch 3 antibody, yes, or zine, which is the characteristic for this carousel. And here is a photograph which is very much important to describe the carousel. You see the wide metal lesions, wide metal lesions, bilateral symmetrical wide metal lesions are, and it was written. The different areas of the white metal lesions are typical for the carousel. So I'd like to go back to the topic, my dear, and make a circle here. And I'd like to give a box, my dear, that are really helpful. So what does this carousel really means? The way I'm writing, my that will be really helpful. So you just talk about the cerebral. Yes, autosomal dominant means the family history will be positive and you need to write on the knot yes, 3 and chromosome number 19 is autosomal dominant the family disorders and once again A4 arteriopathy A4 say with me arteriopathy and this arteriopathy means the patient will be present with the migraine just remember the way I'm writing, my dear. The initial presentation will be the migraine. And at the age of 20 to 30 years. And really after the second phase of the disease, arteriopathy, you see the subcortical infarcts. Infarcts. So yes. That does mean means the TIA and stroke and stroke is the next phase the issue of the patient will suffer thirty to forty years. The young stroke might well be important hereditary young stroke that you need to remember for Yes, the carousel, my dear. Immediately after the 30 to 40 years, yes, the patient will develop the L for leukoencephalopathy. So for it does mean, I say sometimes, sometimes the word the leuco means the white matter, 
encephalopathy yes wide marrow lesions wide marrow lesions and encephalopathy means encephalopathy means once again the dementia my dear and that will come up the 40 to 50 years the early onset in the fifth year dementia so yes my dear doctor that these are the phases of this group of people uh, developing in different stages of their life. So these boxes will have the treatment as if X to remember all them together with the nature of the disease like the carousel is a cerebral, a deep autosomal dominant, if arteriopathy, subcortic in box and leukoencephalopathy. And once again, this is very important my dear to know about them leukoencephalopathy that will be helpful and celibacy. yes and that is white matter lesions and dementia so that starts the migraine TIs and strokes or the white matter lesions in dementia between 20, 30, 30, 40 and 40, 50 years of age group usually they develop so these are the phases of the carousel that you need to remember my dear so once again some of the differential diagnosis having that white matter lesions but only in the brain but not in the spinal cord that can be differentiated at least a single differential diagnosis multiple sclerosis so in a multiple sclerosis the central nervous system demyelination and these demyelinating white matter plaques are found both in the brain and the spinal cord but here only in the brain and the presentations having the positive family history having migraine and tears and stroke and then leads to the dementia